Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed to him. He only keeps what is committed to him. He is able to keep that. If you are too proud to give it to him, then you manage and handle it yourself. There are many of us carrying luggages in our lives today simply because we have not learned to lay it down at his feet. And to keep that which is committed to him. Lord, take my life. Lord, take my children. He says, listen, he said, come unto me, ye that are weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. There are many loads we are carrying on our heads that are unnecessary. You can find rest tonight. In the next two minutes, let it be a handover service. Someone hand over that pain. Don't let it kill you for nothing. Is someone praying? Hand over your children. Hand over that financial situation. Promise led us to pray a few minutes ago by the leading of the Spirit. Sensing that there are people carrying loads and luggages that are unnecessary. Please, someone pray. I lay it down. I lay it down. I lay it down. This issue of my children, this issue of my home, my marriage, this issue of my spouse, this issue of my finances, this issue of the church you have given me, I lay it down. I lay it down. Someone is praying. Shapra katoska leke paruka siata. Satan, you are a liar. Someone is praying. The issue of my rents, the issue of my house, the issue of my parents, the issue of the patient in the hospital will not depress me to discouragement. This is the place of faith. I believe someone is praying. Hebra katoska leke paratosiata. Someone pray. The devil is a liar. As you are praying, that spirit of depression must jump out of your life. That spirit of doubt and fear must jump out of your destiny. God is faithful. Don't be tired, we are still praying. I reject depression. I reject sorrow. Someone is praying. In the name of Jesus, I reject fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. I may not see the wind, I may not see the rain, but my valley shall be filled for sure. Faithful is he that calleth you, who will also do it. Faithful is he that calleth you, who will also do it. Faithful is he that calleth you. Faithful is he that calleth you. Faithful is he that gave you that business. Faithful is he that gave you that marriage. Faithful is he that gave you those children. Will he give you five children and not take care of them? Faithful is he. Not just mighty is he. Faithful is he. Yahweh, Yahweh, our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, yes we look to Yahweh, Yahweh.
Bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. You become like what you are looking at. If the only thing you see is pain, it will keep multiplying. If the only thing you see is discouragement, it will keep multiplying. The Bible says, and we all with unveiled face, beholding him as in a mirror, it says we are changed. We are changed from weakness to strength. We are changed from shame to glory. We are changed from tears to rejoicing. We are changed from mourning to joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. You have turned my sorrow to joy. The animals in the days of Jacob, whatever they looked at, they reproduced after what they were looking at. Many of you have been setting your eyes on the economy of nations, the problem in your family. Tonight, I want you to take your eyes away from them. I know you came with a medical report. I know you came crying, saying, Lord, tonight, if you don't visit me, there is no way. We're talking about the God of heaven. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. There is no shame in looking unto him. For he is the glory of the Father even revealed in the face of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I just felt stirred in my heart to charge us to pray before we sit. Listen, you see, the believer in Christ is more than a mere human being. The believer in Christ is an ordinary man empowered by the Spirit. That means the things that limit men should limit you if you are not in Christ. But if in Christ, there should be an advantage that your life shows. For as long as you are conscious of your humanity alone, you will keep authorizing pain and discouragement tap into the advantage. Do not waste the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. There is an implication to his being there. Listen to the story of the gentleman, drug addict, taking the highest kind of drug you can take. It takes more than desire to get to that state. It is a spirit. There is a level of passion that is not human, whether it's demonic or authentically so. One encounter, and that was the end of it. Can I tell you the truth? No matter how deep and serious your situation is, I want you to believe me. The Bible says the thing that was is the thing that is. There is nothing new under the sun. Read your Bible. Is it financial situations? He brought people out of it. Are we together? Is it the issue of your children? There are bills right now. Some of you are even afraid. You don't even want to think of what. I want you to find rest. Find rest. Find rest. Taking all the sorrow. You've taken all limitations. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all the tears. You've taken all the weeping. You've taken all discouragements. You've taken away the pain and you have made them yours. Let unbelief roll 
like a curtain from our lives. In the name of Jesus, let discouragement roll like smoke before the wind. Let the spirit of faith be imparted upon you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. While you are standing, I want you to find two or three people and prophesy to them, say, God is faithful. Let the devil hear you say it. God is faithful. Shout it, let the devil hear it. God is faithful. God is faithful, faithful, faithful. In the name of Jesus. Now that doubt and discouragement is under your feet, please be gloriously seated. I've, in the name that is above all names, hear me, anyone here who is in any financial condition that is for shame and for reproach, in the name of Jesus, come out of it now. By the ministry of destiny help us, come out of it now. I speak to every family here that all you have seen in your family is crying and languishing in the name that is above all names. I open you up to a season of laughter. There are family members that have not seen eyeball to eyeball. In the name of Jesus, may the reconciler in this season bring reconciliation. Hear me. I am led to specially, I'm sensing in my spirit now, to pray for couples that have been far apart, either because of visa issues, someone, husband is in America, wife is in Nigeria for four years, they've not seen themselves, they've not seen their children, in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone like that under the sound of my voice, I declare supernaturally, may the Lord bring connection. Anyone here carrying the cause of death? You are already seeing dead people in your dreams. You are already having all kinds of demonic destructive things. Listen, listen, hold on please. My apologies for taking your time. Do you know, in the last three weeks, one of the case, the case that I've seen that in my email and text messages is people having breathing problems. Somebody just gets up and we're not talking COVID though. You can't breathe again. Let me pray for someone. If there is any manifestation of the spirit of death translating to any cardiovascular disease to cut short your life, I decree and declare be free from it now. <laughs> Koinonia, hear me. Your sleep is not for death. You will not die in your sleep. Your travel is not for death. You will not die on the road. Please help them. The prophetic. Every hand that has been brought down in shame and you are saying, Lord, will I remain like this? Prophetically, I hold your hand. I lift it up. May it remain lifted forever. Anyone here having a court case or any legal issue that is about to eat up your family, by all means, I prophesy favor and mercy for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyone here called barren that your womb has refused to take in, I don't care what the medical condition is. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak over you. Between now and the end of this year, may a miracle start in your life. Please be patient. I don't know who has forgotten you. 
and because they forgot you all kinds of needless hardship some of you are surrounded by people that if they were led by God to remember you the truth is that shame will be rolled away from your life any spirit that has made them forget you in the name of Jesus right now I open the book of remembrance And for any one of you who has misused opportunities that were once opened because of carelessness and now that door is closed, I prophesy restoration for you. <laughs> Please hear me. Any altar and any coven and any shrine carrying anybody's name or any family to say you will not rise, that in this December for you it will be tears while others are laughing. I call upon my God in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy. May that altar catch fire now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Two more speakings and we're done. Hear me. There is a spirit that always leads men to trouble. You get up in the morning in peace. You will just go somewhere you are not supposed to go. And you just see police come and they say, everybody here, just go to the police station. Why? When you get there, we'll tell you. Can I tell you the truth? It says, lead us not into temptation. Is that in your Bible? Lead us not into temptation. I know people who were minding their business. Someone came and said, let me introduce you to one business somewhere. They didn't know it was fraud. They sincerely just came because they wanted to make meaning. Right now, they are in trouble. Anything that is a temptation, anything that is the devil directing you to put you in trouble, right now, make a you turn spiritually. Make a you turn spiritually. Hear me? Every transaction, every connection, every fraternity with troublemakers that can implicate you legally, can implicate you spiritually, can bring reproach to your name and your family. May my God take you far from it. <laughs> Hallelujah. The final prayer now that I pray for you. I'm praying... Whether you have children or not, anybody under your care is your child. Can I tell you, you will not use your money to manage evil. Yeah. There are people just when families are ready to rise, you will hear that their child is in police station. You will hear that someone is sick. You heard the story of, I think someone, the lady who was healed here. I know a bit about these kidney things. And let me tell you, when you have a loved one that has a kidney situation, be ready to put between 10 to at least 15 million to manage them. And that, not even with a guarantee, they will survive. I'm saying it again. Every trap of the enemy to bring joy and sadness to your family, to your life, to your children, let it be averted finally right now. For some of you, it is with your own eyes, your own ears, and your own mind, God will use to prophesy to you. It will not even be another prophet. You will go to lie down, and what you wanted to meet someone to show you, my God will show you using your own faculties. me some of you you will be praying and the spirit of prophecy will come on you and you will start prophesying when you are done praying you will see that that prophecy was for you let me add one more prayer there are some of you who truly need an encounter with human vessels you have encountered the prophecy of scripture but you have been afraid because there are all kinds of people playing gimmicks. I want to pray a special prayer for you. The prophetic voice that God needs to lead you to so that you will hear to give you accuracy and precision. I call upon God between now and the end of December, I connect you to that prophetic voice. Shout a loud amen. I connect you to that prophetic voice. 
listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this for free. The day you actually encounter a man that God has helped with the prophetic, with character to help you and give you perspective, in five minutes, the confusion of 10, 20, 50 years, the blueprint of your destiny can be opened like you open a room that has been locked for a long time. I'm saying it one last time.